Hello and welcome to another tour video. Oh, hang on. I have to put everything on pause. Otherwise, I always get distracted. You have to go to work. Come on, stop doing whatever and go to work. Um, this house is called um, um, Sepientia. Sepientia. It's, it's Latin for wisdom. <laughs> and um, it's the house of the Sepientia brothers. And they all have... Um, um, Italian names. The first one is um, Alaron Laboratorium and he's a scientist of the family. He's got a scientist job because he's got laboratory up in the, the big tower basically. Um, so in order, in order for him to be able to use it he's gonna have to uh, be a scientist so he joined a scientist career. All the others don't have a job um, because well they don't need to. This is Septimus Hortus and Septimus Hortus is the botanist. He um, he, he loves to plant and study plants and whatnot, so that's him. And then we have uh, Cephas Bibliotheca, who is the the, the um, well librarian, but you know he studies history and he wants to gain all kinds of wisdoms and whatnot. And the brothers live in this big house. And um, well, I, I I I have different kind of tour videos. Sometimes I make a tour video in which I just you know record some footage and I added it to a film. Sometimes I just do it like this where I just take you into the house and walk you, th uh, talk you through it. And that's what I'm going to do today. So um, let's just see. This is the house from the outside. You already saw it a bit at the beginning. It's a huge, huge lot and it's actually going to be part of a world I'm going to create. Um, I'm changing um, Windenburg and... oh... What's this world called again? The one that came with cats and dog, dogs. Uh, Brindleton Bay. Uh, I'm going to turn those two worlds and maybe other ones as well into a sort of like a fantasy novel kind of world. This is one lot of it. Another lot that I finished earlier called um, Celestial, where the Celestial Sisters live. That's part of it. That lot is uh, on one of the 64 by 64 lots in, in, in uh, Windenburg. And then the other lot, the pirate town that I made, is on the other big 64 by 64 lot in Winneberg. That's also part of it. So this is the third lot. I, I thought I'd get the, the uh, three big lots out of the way first, and I finished those. And then all the other ones are going to be a bit smaller. Um, but yeah, this is um, this lot. <laughs> Hang on, I'll just let them play and do whatever they want. So I'll just show you what we've got here. Um, I hope you can all see it. It's a bit difficult to do it this way, but hey, it was even more chal it would have been even more challenging to record like a, like a tour um, like I normally do because it's such a complicated lot. So basically, you can either go in this way via these steps or these steps here, and this is actually the main entrance. What what's this here? Why does this look blue? There's something weird looking here, and I don't know what that is. Do you see? Huh. It looks like a mirror or what the hell? Sorry, hang on. I'll I'll go check this out. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. I had to fix something um but the foundation. Why don't you go to work? Come on, you have to go to work. Go on, what's your name again? <laughs> Alaron Laboratorium. Just go to your work. Just go. Go be a scientist. Okay, so he's off. So this is actually the main entrance, or what I would see as the main entrance. So when you get in here, you get into a little, little, um, little square, little court, whatever. What you call it? What you call it? <laughs> and from there on, you can either go this way to the main entry, but you also have like uh, small buildings here. Um, and this part of the building is basically everything, anything to do with relaxing. So we have the little bubble machine that came with um, um, City Living and here we have some massage things that came with Spa Day and then you can also, you, you can take um, oh, you can take the stairs, sorry, in the building here and then you can go all the way around and go up a bit more then we have like a sauna and this is like um, um, yoga and meditation room 
And if you follow the staircase here, you can go up a bit more and then you come into, well, a room with an organ. <laughs> I don't know how that's, that's exactly relaxation because personally I don't like organ music but I kind of thought it was fitting for these old gens here. And this is just a room where they keep all the generators and whatnot because it the house is very um, heavy when it comes to um, uh, laboratory stuff. So I figured, you know, they need a lot of electricity. So I just dumped all the generators and all the things, the fancy looking things that came with um, get to work. I just dumped them in the room like they have like a generator to generate a room or whatever <laughs> and then there's a little bathroom up here as well so that's actually just this little bit of the building so it's a lot of relaxation and whatnot and i'm gonna have to pause otherwise i get distracted by what my sims are doing okay so but if you don't want to go into this little build oh actually you can also go down here you have like a little sit a sitting area and a swimming pool um they've got two swimming pools because why not <laughs> oh one of the pillars has gone missing Oh yeah, oh sorry, that's because I just I just had to do something about the foundation there and I'm just going to have to re-add this little pillar. Sorry. Um I'll make sure it's it's all there when I upload it. Sorry about that. Um this is going to be a silly video. I hope you'll enjoy it anyway. <laughs> okay, so if you go up here, you can uh, also go straight ahead and this is actually um the Part of the garden bit that belongs to um, what's his name again, Septimus Hortus, because he likes plants. He's a botanist. They even have like a little money tree in here. It's still growing, but they've got a money tree, which is lovely. Um, what's he doing now? Oh, he's talking to the plants inside. So you have some outdoor kind of plants. I put most of the plants that are in the game in here, except for the ones that came with um outdoor retreat i don't think i used outdoor retreat in this lot but I, i'm not making any promises because sometimes i think i haven't used something a certain pack but then there might be a little object that i just ended up using anyway and i completely forgot about it it's such a big lot so i use a lot of packs oh here's the dog oh, no it's not, not not that dog it's someone else's dog so um some of the blondes here they have like a little patio thingy no it's not a patio i don't know what you call it a little roof above it <laughs> yeah okay that makes doesn't make any sense then here we have another swimming pool because you know they've got room oh sorry so that's hang on i'm just gonna go down otherwise the camera's gonna keep jumping up i'm sorry i don't mean to make anyone nauseous and of course because they are scientists or at least one of them is i've got the weather machine so they can change the weather to their liking and another outdoor seating area, a barbecue area and down here there's a similar seating area to the other one. So um, let's go back to the front of the building. So that's basically everything around it. I thought about putting a swing in because I like the swing but I thought you know these are you know a bunch of old guys they're triplets but they're old they're not going to be swinging to do they're not going to be doing much swinging I think. <laughs> oh wait when i changed the lot i see that the game deleted another little plant hang on okay sorry back again uh, this little plant was deleted but i had to put that there because uh, because of the different train heights and whatnot the railing doesn't really f um doesn't really um what do you how do you what do you call it it, it doesn't really align with the the railing here so I just sort of put this here to hide the fact that there's a little gap in here. <laughs> when you have to hide something, when something isn't exactly the way you want it, use plants. Just hide it. Hide anything that looks a bit silly. So down here we have sort of like the main courtyard. Um, and what I did here is um, there is something for each of the three gentlemen. So this represents the scientist, this the botanist, and this represents the historian or historicus, histor historian. Can't even talk. The historian. I wanted to say historicus, which obviously is not a word. Sorry. <laughs> the historian. So um, yeah. So it, 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 there, there are all, all three are represented here in the little courtyard, and they can sit. And there's a little fountain here as well. Then if you go up through the main door here you enter Septimus's uh, domain. So this is a lot of like a indoor greenhouse and this is where he has all of his plants and actually I think he's doing, he's researching some of his plants right now. So he's always 
busy with his plants and this is his domain basically then if we go up oh oh amicus that dog is called amicus which we which is a uh, friend uh, in latin the male form of friend because he's a it's a male dog and then here we have the library or at least you know uh, what was his name again sorry Cephas's uh, domain he's oh he was supposed to be practicing writing but he's not so why don't you just give some attention to the dog and tell ask the dog to um i don't know actually it's a very small dog smart dog so maybe they can just i don't know they can have like a smart conversation at some point right if they're friends so this is just uh, the library bit and it's got a um chess table here as well so this is all his wisdom stuff and here he's an, he even has like a oh sorry archaeology table so this is his domain oh oh wait i forgot something sorry they all each each big room has like a little antechamber uh, that's related to their field of expertise so here is um um a little botanist kind of room with the flower table and then he has like a little reading room, it's at the chamber, the little reading room and a little toilet area. And the scientist, what was his name again? I really I really still have to get to know their names. Aleron, this is his laboratory, and he has a little ante chamber right here that has the cloning machine and some of his files and whatnot, and some junk. So he has got everything that a scientist would basically oh need oh sorry the camera keeps going up and down but that's because i've used terrain tools quite a lot and then for some reason the camera likes to jump to the highest point of the lot which is rather annoying i wish they would change that because it's so annoying also when you want to do let's plays or when you when you want to record videos you constantly have to sort of keep tap of the camera because it just keeps flying all over the place so this is uh, the laboratory that's um his domain um with this little antechamber so that is the big tower we have to go down again this is it really is a complicated lot i'm very sorry but i had so much fun making it um this is sort of like the living part of the building so here they have like the kitchen with a dining room and they have a little seating area hang on i'll just go inside the room it's a bit nicer so they have like a seating area i'll try to move the camera very slowly so i won't make people nauseous because that not, that's not very nice and of course i have like a little television area so they can just sit and watch some telly i didn't put um a, a stereo in here because lately doesn't matter what lot i play my sims are just obsessed with dancing it's just really ridiculous in 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 i think it came with i think ever since the last update or maybe the one before that whenever i play the sims they always sort of immediately go to the stereo. It doesn't matter what stereo I put in there. And they just dance all day long. I don't know what that is. That's just really weird. <laughs> and there's a little bathroom here. Okay, if you go up the stairs here. I really hope I'm not making anyone no uh, nauseous. Oh, and we also have like a little music room here. If you go up, then we have two bedrooms. Um, not all three yet. And uh, this is... Um, oh library guy <laughs> Cephas's room and this is the scientist room Alberon Alberon's room so actually you'll you'll notice if you really look into the rooms you'll see that they've got things that are related to their passion or their expertise so he's got a lot of books and he's got a lot of scientist things he's he's got a lot of these stones he's got some rocket parts here and he's, he's got all these little element thingies or whatever you call them he's got a little scientist sign so the the bedrooms represent the person who sleeps there and then here oh, i'm sorry the camera's really jumping up and down sorry and here we have a little um arts and crafts kind of room so they can paint and also make sculptures i always have to put in a room like this because I love to paint i love to create things so whenever you see a room like and any room like this in one of my lots it is sort of i don't know i feel like it's a little rep rep representation of myself inside a lot so yeah this is just me <laughs> all my sims have to become you know a bit like me they all have to paint and create stuff <laughs> or something okay um then we have a last part of the room 
uh, above the building. I'll just start down here because this is these are the lowest rooms, I think. And this part of the building is very much about um, games and fun and entertainment or whatnot, you know. So we have like a games room with a football table. Here we have like a cards game table and a dartboard. If we go one room, oh, we have also a bathroom, of course. We have the Rack Llama game and a bathroom. And if we go up again, this is basically still part of it. Oh, we have one bedroom. This is um, um, Mortis. What is his first name again? Septimus's bedroom. So you, you'll see that his room is all green with plants and whatnot because he is, you know, the, the botanist. Um, actually, now in hindsight, I think maybe this should have been the scientist room because it sort of is attached to all the scientist stuff. But that's something I just noticed. Oh well, too bad. Now it's the botanist room. And uh, but up here we also have uh, a gym, so they can you know practice some boxing. Oh, I do have a stereo in here, boxing and running and weightlifting and whatnot. And another bathroom because you know after having done some exercise, you might want to take a bath. And then here, actually, I forgot this little bit. We have another room here. This is the bar, but that is sort of. That nicely aligns with um, the um, what you call it little garden up here. We have another scientist thing here. We have the alien contact machine. What you call it? I don't know what this is called actually. Oh, the Electroflux wormhole generator. We have the Electroflux wormhole <laughs> wormhole generator. Now I can't even say it. Up here and little bar because you can also just sit and relax here. And this is sort of like there. Wanna actually have two of these trees? I know using these trees means using a whole new pack, using um, movie stuff. But I just love that tree. I love oak trees and I love lanterns in it. So I thought, tough. I'm just gonna use it. And then up here we have the um, telescope. So yeah, it's a big lot. And um, <laughs> it took me, uh, I think, four days to build. But I'm quite happy with the result and I hope that um, it's sort of it's clear what I, I tried to do with it. Everything works, I tested it, even this little thing works now. Though I think there must have been a kind of bug but I fixed it now so everything seems to work, everything is in place so I can upload it and um, I tested it everything, I tested all of it. I've been playing with these guys this morning and they do what they're supposed to do. Let's see, how's the dog? Hello. Let's just go in here and let's just let's just have a move. Hello. Oh, oh. I, I love these old guys. I really do. <laughs> I just like the idea of triplets. So now I have the um, um, celestial sisters. They're triplets, and now we have uh, the sapien, the sapien Tia, Tia, Tia. Um, brothers. I shouldn't use Latin, but I thought you know wisdom and whatnot and and. A lot of, it, it probably evolves lo lots of Latin, and that's why I just use it. What does he actually have to do? Oh, he has to reach level three of, of logic skills. So why don't you just ponder some moves, darling? And what is he doing? And what does he have to do? He has to evolve plants. Well, he can't. Pl he can't do that yet. We'll just talk to them. Oh, look! Now Amicus is here. I love the dog. So the the girls have a cat. The guys have a dog. So always kind of feel that. Not always, of course. Women tend to be more cat people. Guys tend to be more dog people. I myself am a cat and dog people. We've got three cats and a dog, so yeah. But I kind of I like the pets, so obviously I also use pet stuff. So yeah, I lose a lot of use a lot of uh, packs in this build, and this is uh, situated on the 64 by 64 lot in brindental bay everything else is empty so i still have a lot to build and i've got so many ideas about this i don't know it's not really fairy tale kind of world because all these people could be real the pirates could be real it's just a weird world i don't know what i'm going to call it i made um burtonville which was very clearly associated with Burton, uh, uh, tim burton's films and whatnot and i made the alien world which, which was obviously very very um clearly just about the aliens but this is just going to be a, a mix of fantasy and history and i don't know this could be like a novel this is going to be a novel it's going to be my novel world 
<laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this weird tour video and that I haven't made anyone nauseous and that you like the build. Um, I personally am quite happy with the way it turned out. So I hope you will like it too. And um, thank you very much for watching this video. And I hope you'll come back to my channel for more. Bye.